Good morning children. Now we know how to test the divisibility of a number by 2, 3, 5 and 10. So let us test the divisibility of number by other numbers such as 4, 6, 8, 9 and 11. As we saw in the last class, Aman's father gave him 38 chocolates and asked him to distribute it amongst his friends such that each of his friend got equal share and none of the chocolate was remaining with Aman. So in this case, he had to find the exact divisors of 38. Now he wanted to check whether 36 is divisible by 6 or not. So he thought if the number is divisible by 6, it should also be divisible by 2 and 3, which means the number should pass the divisibility test for 2 and 3 in order to be divisible by 6. So he started checking this way 38 divided by 2 is equal to 19 and 38 divided by 3 it is not divisible by 3 as 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6 so 2 is left as remainder so 36 is divisible by 2 but not by 3. So we can say 36 is not divisible by 6. Now he wanted to check another number if it is divisible by 6. So the number was 114. Now here if we see the digit at 1's place then it is an even number. So it is divisible by 2. So we found out 114 is divisible by 2. What about 3? For 3 we remember if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3. So let's do the sum of digits. So 1 plus 1 plus 4 which is equal to 6 and we know 6 is divisible by 3 so the sum of digits is divisible by 3 hence we can say 114 is divisible by 6 and it is equal to 19 so to test the divisibility of number by 6, what is the rule? If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6 also. Next, let us check the divisibility of number by 9. So, if we see the table of 9, 9 into 1 is 9. 9 into 2 is 18, 9 into 3 is 27, 9 into 4 is 36, 9 into 5 is 45. So here we come, 38 is greater than 36 but less than 45 which means 38 is not divisible by 9. Now if we see the table we will see a pattern here and what is the pattern if we add the digits the sum is 9 see 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 next 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 then 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 and 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so we see the sum is equal to 9. 
Now let's take some larger number 9 multiplied by 99 and it is equal to 891. Here if we add up all the digits then 8 plus 9 plus 1 it is equal to 18 and we know 18 is divisible by 9. So we see the sum of the digits of a given number is a multiple of 9 when it is divisible by 9. So here we get the rule to test the divisibility by 9. If the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9 then the number itself is divisible by 9. Understood? Next, let us see if 117 is divisible by 9 or not. So, the number is 117. Let's add up the digits 1 plus 1 plus 7 and the sum is equal to 9 and 9 is divisible by 9 so we can say it is divisible by 9. The number 117 is divisible by 9. So 117 divided by 9 is equal to 13. It is divisible by 9 as we saw the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Now let us check the divisibility of number 38 by 4. If we see the table of 4, then 38 is greater than 36 but less than 40. This means 38 is not exactly divisible by 4. Now let us figure out the pattern for 4. Aman took few numbers which were of 3 digits and tried to figure out the pattern. So 112 divided by 4. It is equal to 28. Let's take 114 divisible by 4. This is not divisible by 4. Next 116 divided by 4. It is equal to 29. Next number 118 divided by 4. It is not divisible by 4 and some remainder is there. So let's figure out a pattern. 112 and 116 were divisible. 114 and 118 were not divisible by 4. So let's check the tens and ones position. And what do we see? Here 12 is divisible by 4. 16 is divisible by 4 and hence these two numbers are divisible by 4. Coming here 114. 14 is not divisible by 4. And if we observe the digits at tens and ones place we have 18 here and 18 is not divisible by 4. So we see if the number formed by tens and ones place is not divisible by 4 then the number is not divisible by 4. And you know Aman got the answer why is it so? This is because 100 is divisible by 4. 25 into 4 is equal to 100 which means any number of hundreds 300, 4400 etc. are divisible by 4. So we just need to verify if the number formed by tens and ones place is divisible by 4 or not. First Test of divisibility by 4. A number with 3 or more digits is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its last 2 digits 
that is one sentence place is divisible by 4 next how to test the divisibility by 6 if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3 then it is also divisible by 6 what about 9 in case of 9 if the sum of digits of a number is divisible by 9 then the number itself is divisible by 9 and lastly how to test if the number is divisible by 4 a number with 3 or more digits is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its last two digits that is one sentence place is divisible by 4 so that was all about divisibility. Bye-bye children.